what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel thanks for all the support you guys have been killing it so this video is going to be an overview of the wide body c6 so this is a base model that was converted to a wide body and a lot of it as far as besides the rear quarter panels and the front fenders all of it is actually oe stuff so the rear quarter panels I got from a company called Velo's Designs. If you're in the Corvette world, you probably know about them. So they are they are pretty good quality. But the only bad thing is they are a little thin. It's the only downside I have about them. The front, also if you're in the Corvette world, you know about these. These are ACI front fenders. Very, very good quality fenders. Front bumper is actually a OE front bumper. Got it off of a guy local and uh, fits very, very well. All of the vents, quarter panel vents, fender vents, front vent for the hood, grill, all the inner fender liners and all that is OE stuff. And I will tell you, some of this stuff is very, very hard to find and it is actually very, very expensive. So I was able to find a lot of the inner fender liners or for the rear were at a local dealer. The front ones I had to get on eBay, I had to really do some research, find out the factory part numbers for all this stuff and just go on a hunt and do research some of this stuff is very very hard to find especially the vents quarter panel vents and front fender vents very hard to find and very expensive i think those front fender vents i think they ran me every bit of 150 bucks a piece there's the outer and there's the inner the rear probably 50 60 dollars a piece for the inners and outers pretty pretty expensive once you start adding this stuff up i mean i probably got 500 dollars just in you know fender vents five six hundred bucks the front vent found it it was probably 30 bucks the front lower grill i actually got that on ebay as well oe and it was probably 160 170 bucks something like that very very expensive stuff it's not cheap it's very hard to find but oe stuff is very nice because the fitment is very nice these were mud flaps got those at the local dealer i think they were don't quote me on this but fender liners probably 150 each side maybe 250 i can't remember those were probably the uh rear mud flaps were probably 100 and something a piece so probably got four or five six hundred bucks tied up in the rear stuff now the car is very dirty right now i actually just washed it but I drove it a little bit and it, it gets dirty very fast this dark color so full car has been repainted all back Le Mans blue the only parts that didn't get painted is the lower rockers but they're very low to the ground very hard to tell that they haven't been painted whole car got repainted repainted the top and the halo put a ZR1 expended extended I'm sorry rear spoiler on it very very nice puller. I really like it. Got C7 Z06. These are not OE wheels. These are actually replicas. The replicas are a little bit stouter. I think the front tire size up front is a. Let's see, is a 285 3019. And the rear is a 325-25-20. So very nice. I wish they were a little bit wider, to be honest with you, because it still has a little gap to fill. And my double side tape has come off right there. Gotta fix that. <laughs> yeah, because they could come out just a little bit wider. Fronts could come out a little bit more too. Factory headlights, all I did is put new lenses on it. That's a job in itself. But uh, very, very, very worth it. Especially if your headlights look like crap. I need to get new fog lights. Front lower splitter. This is actually, actually my second one. First one, Coyote took it out. So this is the second one. Uh, Extreme online Corvette. It's like 140 bucks. Nothing, nothing crazy. So yeah. As far as the outside, that's pretty much it. Got the tinted marker lights, like $40 or cheap ones. Morimoto tail lights. 
all new badges. Interior's kind of stock for right now. Nothing crazy going on in the interior other than it being very nasty on itself. Has the carbon fiber trim, carbon fiber over there. Factory shifter, looking to upgrade that to maybe a Henson shifter or uh, MGW. Haven't really made my mind up yet. So as far as window tent goes, 5% both sides, 5% back glass, 30% on the windshield. It is very bright out today. So that's kind of what it looks like. The car is very, very dark at night. Can't really see in it at all. Back glasses on these cars are very, very hard to tint. So it can be very expensive when you go to get yours done. But looks really good. I really like the dark look. Interior. You can't really tell that the windshield's tinted. The windshield is dirty, I will tell you that. So, yeah, guys. Other than that, other than this thing being super nasty right now, uh, that is pretty much it. Car has come a long way. Still got more to do. If you guys do not know, I ordered a supercharger for this thing, A and A, and it is here, and we're fixing to do the install on it. Fixing to order my fuel pump this week. I just had to decide on which one I wanted to get. Made my mind up, so it's getting ordered this week. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Let me know what you guys want to see. Peace.